you know, all these meetings and everything. Shout hallelujah. Okay, turn to your Bible to 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse number 1. Let's go. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse number 1. Uh -huh. Now Naaman was commander of the army of the king in Aram. Mm. He was a great man. He was a great man. In the sight of his master. In the sight of his master. And highly regarded. Highly regarded. Because through him. The because Lord, through him. The Lord had given victory to Aram. The Lord had given victory to a whole nation. So he was a what? A great man. Profoundly great. Shout amen. How are you my daughter? You know you can be very great and very powerful. God will put your need in the hands of a small boy. Shout hallelujah. Shout amen. The guy was very powerful. Through him God gave victory to the Arameans. Let's go my son. He was a valiant soldier but he had leprosy. He had leprosy. He was a what? A leper. Very powerful military commander. But he was what? Leprous. Tonight. Oh, I've been preaching at night for a long time. So sometimes. This what? This afternoon, right? This morning. House of Grace. It is your fault. Because the way you both switch the whole thing from evening to morning. It confused me. Okay. We are mourning. Let's go, my son. Let's go. He was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. Uh -huh. Now bands of raiders from Aaron had gone out and had taken captive a young girl from Israel, mm. and she served Naaman's wife. Mm -hmm. She said to her mistress, mm -hmm. "If only my master would if see, only my master would see the prophet who was, see the prophet who was in Samaria who was in Samaria he would cure him of his, he will cure him of his leprosy of his leprosy." Naaman went to his master. Naaman went to his master, the king. And told him what the and told him what is the girl said from Israel had said uh -huh. by all means go. by all means go go the king of Aram replied uh -huh. I will send a letter to the king of I will Israel. send a letter to what the king to the of king Israel. I want to speak to you about what the content of the package somebody said the content of the package now listen to this carefully please with due respect he says. I was sent a letter to the what? To the king of Israel for your sake. So that they may what? Accommodate you. So the letter was written to who? The king of who? Oh, talk to me. Israel. Are you here? Your young girl says something. Can somebody remember what the young girl said? She said to her mistress, uh -huh. if only my master would see the prophet who was in Samaria, uh -huh. he would cure now, him of his My leprosy. question is, is the king a prophet? We are going somewhere. Are you, are you here with me? Listen, if my master would see the king of what? The, the prophet in Israel. Now, he went to see his king and says, Papa, this is what I've heard about my leprosy. He said, don't worry. I will give you a letter addressed to the king but the young girl didn't mention anything about king but a letter a package is coming that is for who the king of israel hello hello are you with me it will blow your mind are you ready sit back cross your leg and say i am in charge talk to me my son she said to her mistress, uh -huh. if only my master would see the prophet who was in Samaria, uh -huh. he would cure him of his leprosy. Uh -huh. Naaman went to his master and told him what the girl from Israel had said. Uh -huh. By all means, go, the king of Aram replied. Mm. I will send a letter to the king of Israel. Mm -hmm. So Naaman left, mm -hmm. taking with him ten talents of silver, uh -huh. six thousand shekels of gold, mm -hmm. and ten sets of clothing. Mm -hmm. The letter that he took to the king of Israel read, mm -hmm. with this letter I am sending... What is the content? the letter he says what with this letter let's go my son with this letter uh -huh. i am sending my son i am sending name unto you so that you may cure him of his uh, leprosy is the king oh my god <laughs> the young girl says something 
They didn't mention the king's name. The king wrote a letter stating in the letter, King, my fellow king, I am sending my servant to you. Cure him. How can the king cure leprosy? Did the girl mention that the king heals leprosy? Oh, talk to me. I want you to understand today. Never forget this. It is a package that is coming from what? Somebody to you. Watch this. Your name is on the letter, but the content does not belong to you. My son, give me the package. My daughter, come. Please stand here for me. Whose name is on this letter? That is my name. Give her a distance for me. Microphone. Watch this. Watch this. It is no longer my name. It is your name. Watch this. It's possible prophetically that you go to the doctor and you, your name has been diagnosed with cancer but the cancer thing is not for you, it's for Jesus to deal with it. Amen. The king received a letter. When he opened the letter, the content of the letter does not fit him. It does not fit him. He does not heal leprosy. So the Bible says the king became what? Confused. Is it possible that this letter package has my name on it? I will open it. But what is inside that thing does not belong to me. Letter of eviction. I'm going for my yearly checkup and the doctor says I have stage 3 cancer that I never saw. Whose name is on that thing is your name. But by the time you leave here tonight, the Lord will take over the content yeah. and say, The letter has your name on it, all right. But the diagnosis is not for you, it's for our father to consume it. Am I talking to a church that is alive? Why don't you stand to your feet and shout, I am here? I am here. Turn it up. Come on, say, let's go. Let's go. The let's go. No, I, I, are, you, I, are you getting it now? Is it coming home now? Watch this. It is not every insult that they put your name on top of it. Does it mean that the insult is for you? It's for somebody else. Are you hearing me, somebody? I say, are you hearing me, somebody? They can say whatever they want and put your name on that dress, but that dress ain't going to fit you because your destiny is controlled by somebody higher. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Tonight is a night of healing. Anybody that is going through diagnosis, by the time you come up here tonight and go back to your house, let that diagnosis change. Yeah. Talk to me, my son. The letter that he took to the king of Israel read, with this letter, with this I, letter, I am sending my servant name. I'm sending name unto you, so that you may cure him of his leprosy. Uh -huh. As soon as the king of Israel read the letter, uh -huh. he tore his robes and said, uh -huh. "Am I God? Am I God? Am I who? God? Am I God that I will heal?" Deportation letter will be sent back to sender. Amen. You are not hearing me. There are so many letters in the realms with your name on it, but I'm going to deflect the content to Jesus. Amen. Are you hearing me, somebody here? It is not everything that has your name on it means that you are the owner of that thing. The king receive a letter, but the content of the letter belongs to the prophet. Are you hearing me, somebody here? It is you that went to the doctor and the doctor says you have a high blood pressure. It is not Jesus, right? So that diagnosis has whose name on it? Your name. But blood pressure is not your portion. Are you hearing me, somebody here? I said, but that thing is not what your portion. The king was disturbed for nothing. Talk to me. As soon as the king of Israel read the letter, 
he tore his robes and said, uh -huh. Am I God? Can I kill and bring back to life? Oh! Why does this fellow send someone to me to be cured of his leprosy? Uh -huh. See how he is trying to pick a quarrel with he me. He is trying to pick a fight with me. Why is the king in dilemma? Because the package had his name, but the content does not fit his personality. You will never be homeless in America. You are not hearing me. It doesn't matter what your credit score has your name on it. But what is inside that credit, God is going to fix it. Yeah. I came to announce to three people here, Katubri Atapa. If I be called by God, if you woke me up this night and gave me this message for these people, Father, it doesn't matter what packet they have received. Let the content be your portion. May you take over the content, oh Lord. Your people cannot sleep at night. Your people are going through troubles. But the content is not for them. They didn't know this message was coming. That the name is on it, oh Lord. But the content belongs to Jesus. Somebody stand to your feet and shout, I am here. Yeah. What, what is this? It's medication. Very smart woman. It's possible. This came from the VA hospital. It's possible. I'm a veteran. It's possible that open this medication. It ain't for me. It has my name on it. So watch this. By revelation, by higher understanding of the things of God, if you panic, the enemy have you. Listen, panic, fear breaks strength away. Hello. So if you understand the things of God, it got my name on it, but it ain't for me. Hello, am I talking to somebody here? I don't think you came to church today. Listen to me. Listen to me. Divorce can have your name on it. But that breaking of marriage ain't for you. It ain't for you. From today, somebody's negative bank account is going to come back positive with many zeros. It's going to come out with many zeros. They will not take over your house. They will not take over your house. They won't take over your cars. If I am talking to somebody, stand to your feet and shout, I hear you. Talk to me, my son. Why does this fellow send someone to be cured of Listen to me. First of all, I want certain people to understand this. Power of God is in the word of God. A man of God loaded with power is a man of God with the word. My word have I lifted above me. For lack of knowledge. Whose report would you believe? It got your name on it. It got your address on it. But we deflect the content to Jesus. They can talk about you. So a dress that fits your character. But if you don't have the knowledge of God, you would die of depression today and remove that thing from you. Whatever they are saying about you, it is not ever your portion. What they have gone for meeting about you, it's not your portion. What they speak, the evil they speak, we deflect it to Jesus. May Master Jesus come down today and heal somebody of leprosy, heal somebody of disease and depression, heal somebody of uh, disappointment. Somebody shall yes, Lord. My son, let's go. Hurry up. Why does this fellow send someone to me to be cured of his leprosy? Uh -huh. See how he is trying to pick a quarrel with me. Uh -huh. When Elijah, the man of God, heard that he, uh -huh. the king of Israel, had torn his robes, uh -huh. he sent him this message. He sent him this message. Why have you torn your robes? Why? Have the man come to me, and he will know that. There, there is listen a to me. The content of your depression, somebody will show up and take over it.
My son, who helped me in House of Grace, very nice, wonderful guy. I love him. Anytime you tell him something, yes, Papa. He came to me. He says, I bought a certain car that I was going to use. When the car came, the car, the pictures I saw, the car was a little too small for me. Are you hearing me? So I wanted to give it to my son here. So when he turns 16, they are allowed to drive, then he'll drive. So my son, in House of Grace, came to me and says, Papa, I want that car. A car that I have bought, that I was going to use it for myself. He says, I want that car. Please, this amount I have, I'll give it to you. Give me payment plan. I will take so many months and I'll pay. I said, shut that up, sit down somewhere. The car that I have bought. Because I wanted to change some certain things on the car. So he showed me a good mechanic, you know, can do the, And then, so he saw the car. Because he saw the car, his eyes went inside that car. Remove your eyes from people's property. Oh. Shout amen. Remove your eyes. When I was sitting in my car, I saw somebody driving Porsche. Porsche. I did my head like this. I said, let me see this one. Who's coming out of this car? I saw the person. I said, I will deal with this man. Today, if I live here, he doesn't give me money. I will deal with him. Oh my God. I know you will not clap for me because I'm, I'm, I'm exposing somebody. So my son says, Papa, I want the car. The boy hasn't had the car. His car got into an accident for some reason. He hasn't had a car for a while. He lives close to the church. Go and do this. It's just like what um, Ezekiel has been doing for a long time. Because ever since I was here, he's the one who opened this, 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 that, a lot of things. So, <sighs> I went and said to him, I'm going. The Lord said, give the car to the boy. I acted like I didn't hear because I'm, I'm talking to you. Give the car to him. <laughs> It was a Friday. And the Jaguar with peanut butter seeds that I bought for myself. You can buy something and it belongs to somebody else. If God called me to come here this morning, may whatever that you have that belongs to somebody, may they call you, may you receive a call. Yes. May you receive a text message. Some can be houses, some can be houses, some can be marriages, some can be anything. Whatever that belongs to you, that somebody has it in their pocket, I command them today, within 24 hours, let them drop that key at your doorstep. Let them drop that pen at your doorstep. They put it their name is on it, but the content belongs to you. Somebody shout, hey! On Sunday, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw some people I was prophesying. He said, the Lord said, call him. I've given the card to him. Now, in my own ministry, the men of God I have served, not even a bicycle. But I'm the first to give a car away. Listen, if you understand the language of God, you don't struggle. After I did that, my bank account began to overflow. Shout hallelujah. There is something with somebody's name on it. But today, I connect you to the content of it. I connect you to the content of it. I don't think you are here in the dominion house. I say, I connect you to the content of it. He says, I will take the riches of the Gentiles and I will give them to you. He told the Israelites, God's your neighbors, the Egyptians, of gold, silver.
over and everything. Their name is upon those things, but the content belongs to you. I don't know who I am talking to today. If you are the one I'm talking to, why don't you stand to your feet, jump and shout, I am here. I said, when you come and you see the size of House of Grace, it doesn't look like a church that will be giving away cars. A year from now, Dominion House, you will not give houses. You will give just houses and cars. You will give our jewels, everything. You will give scholarship to people that want to go to what? And their colleges. You will give full right to people because the Lord has already visited the church. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? <laughs> Three people from today, seven days from this day, you will come and testify. I don't know who is that. I don't know who is that. I don't know who is that. If I've been called by God, if I've been called by God, I said three people from tonight, seven days. It is your portion. The letter has the king's name on it, but the content belongs to somebody else. Your heart desire of a new house, new car, citizenship, green card, may the Lord release a helper to you today. Hello. Are you here? Talk to me, my son. When Elijah, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his robes, he sent him this message. Why have you torn your robes? Have the man come to me, and he will know that there is a prophet in Israel. Let the man come to me, and he will know that there is grace in Dominion House. Oh... Let the people that want to visit, let them come. And they will encounter the power of God in this house. Shout hallelujah. Shout amen. The king has received a letter with his name on it, but the content is not for him. Let the doctors diagnose all kinds of things under your name. I remove the content and let the fire of God consume it. Am I speaking the mind of God to somebody? Yes. Talk to me, my son. So Naaman went with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elijah's house. Elijah sent a messenger to say to him, mm -hmm. Go, wash yourself seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will be restored, and mm. you will be cleansed. Mm. But Naaman went away angry and said, mm. I thought that he would surely come I out. thought that he would surely come out to me. He will surely come up to me. And stand and call on And stand and call. On the name of the Lord. On the name of the Lord. His God. His God. Wave his hand over. You does not determine how your pastor preach. You does not determine the oil upon his head. You does not determine the messages you preach. It is not your place to diagnose the style of the man of God. So when they come to church, mommy, they have something preconceived idea how a prophetic church should be. So when they come and they don't see one or two, they are disappointed, they leave and the award deliverance is upon the altar. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes. Nay, man with leprosy knew and taught a great man of God. God. Hey, 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 hey. 
when they are coming before God, they have an idea what a man of God should look like. Mm. Mm. The reason why you are fighting within your spirit because of what you carried before you came. Not because of what is here already. What you carried already will not give way for what is here to come to you. I thought he would come. Conjure some things in the air. Call upon the name of his God. Wave his hands over my leprosy. Catch you, Ganabad. Whatever you carry, leave it at the doorstep. Come here and say, God, fill me. Uh, you didn't hear me. Amen. What we are carrying is the reason why fake men of God are deceiving and taking money from us. Oh, I've heard his name that he did this, he did that. I went to House of Grace, I really didn't see anything. What are you trying to see? Dominion House. I heard Dominion House for many years now. So I said, let me go and visit. When I went there, mm, what is that? Mm. So you, you are more wiser than God. Naaman, you have the antidote to your leprosy. You already know how your leprosy should be cured. Then cure yourself. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? If a man of God should look in the skies, call the name of God and wave his hands for your leprosy, then why are you still having leprosy? Leave whatever that is in your head at the door. Come empty and ask for him to fill you. The man of God did not even come out of his house to meet him one on one. That is where the disappointment started. Hello. Today, if God to ask me to come here, I remove every barrier that is around you. The things that prevent people from coming to you and to delivering your package and your content to you. As I remove the barrier from today, as I remove the barrier from today, by divine authority, I stand here as an apostle of the living God and I remove everything from you. Preconceived ideas, notions. God will build his church. You are blessed to be here today because I'm telling you, if you make a U-turn, you will leave your package right here on the altar. How many want to be a part of a church that is growing 50,000, 100,000? How many of you? Come on, come on. Show her. You want to be a part of that? Powerful church, huh? 50,000 people. 100,000 people. It starts from one. It start with two. Amen. It start with three. Amen. It is not pastors that build churches. It is you that build the church. Amen. When was the last time you spoke to somebody? I was there minding my business, my daughter, and then a certain email came and I opened it says I've, I came across watch this I came across some of the services online on Facebook and the Lord has told me that from now my family and I will worship here please what is the address I called my secretary that I love so much Chi 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 O oh, Chi O oh, Chi 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 I know I'm as jealous her jealousy will not stop me that's her cousin. I said, Chichi, come on. Here's my phone. Reply to this woman. Listen to me. God will start you with five people.
can bring them down to two and see if you carry the same energy that your, your faith in him God has in effect. Am I talking to somebody here? It takes a minute for God to what? Bring overflow. Today I prophesy to house of grace and I prophesy to dominion house. I prophesy to the witness house. I prophesy to the fire house. Now from today, may the Lord bring overflow. Am I the one that went to look for somebody? She says she's browsing and saw our services. And is convinced that the Lord has commanded her. Today will be the first day that she's coming. All you can do is to connect yourself with God. Leave the rest to him. The king is minding his own business. He received a package. The package had his name on it. He had the authority to open it because he had his name on it. But the content, a vision letter could be your name is on it. But a vision is not your portion. Foreclosure is not your portion. That good job that you have, you will never lose it. Talk to me, my son. Elijah sent a messenger to say to, say to him, Go, wash yourself seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will be restored and you will be cleansed. But Naaman went away angry and said, I thought that he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God. Mm. Wave his hand over the spot and cure me of my leprosy. Mm. Are not Abana and Farpah, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Couldn't I wash in them and be clean? Hold, hold on. Don't make a mistake. We have big churches. I was in Abuja with my daughter, I think, what, last year, October, November, something like that? Yeah. She had this gospel show with, you know, GUC and all these. You know me, I take advantage and go and listen to good music. I, I can't sing. I can't sing. If you say sing to save your life, I cannot. So when she's going for this, I'll go there. Yeah, that, that's a father. <clears throat> yeah. I taught her how to sing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you give me microphone, I will scatter the whole place. We went to Abuja. Come and see power. When we talk about mega churches, it's no more in America. Go to Abuja. Go to Lagos you will see mega church. Dunamis. We, they drove us there so we can see. Ow! I'm like, what? <laughs> no, the church is too big. I said, God, what kind of grace are these men carrying? Is that grace finishing the system? The Lord said, it's not about grace, it's about the assignment. You may be attracted to a mega church, but your deliverance is in the corner church. Hello? Your deliverance is where? From today, be sensitive. So, my son in Philadelphia has served a man of God for three years, two and a half years, because he did not even come when I was posted there, he just came, but maybe two and a half years, that's when he started coming. So he can say within two and a half years, he has received a brand new car. I have been serving men of God from New York. When the Lord brought me to Pastor Eric to help him. Other men of God had raised me. I didn't get a car there. When I was going to Dominion House of Grace, I, listen, oh God. Man of God, you have served Dominion House for three years and today you and your wife a new chapter God has honored you. Church, come. Pray for him and his wife and the family. Bless them. I didn't even get that. Yes, I'm saying it today. I didn't what? Hello? 
I didn't know what. But that man of God is giving away car keys. Listen, whatever you are doing in the house of God, you are sowing a seed. A year by this time, God will honor you. I said, God will honor you a year by this time. Continue to struggle, continue to pay the price. And your God will honor you. There was a woman in House of Grace that due to family issues, she had to relocate to Florida. We honored this woman very well. Sent her away very well. Two, three months time, the situation changed. She's back and part of the church. Why is the Lord speaking this thing to Dominion House? Those of you that look back and say there are empty seats, listen to me. Stay put. Continue to pray for the church. When elevation comes, God will never bypass you. I said the Lord will never bypass you. I said God will never what? Bypass you. Stand to your feet and shout yes Lord. Talk to me. Verse 12. Are not Abana and Farpar, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Couldn't I wash in them and be cleansed? So he turned and went off in a rage. Naaman's servants went to him and said, My father, mm -hmm. if the prophet had told you to do some great mm -hmm. thing, would you not have done it? Mm -hmm. How much more then when he tells you, wash and be cleansed? Can somebody connect the dots? This great man of God, this is the second time a servant is pushing him to his destiny. The first one was the what? The maid servant, the daughter. That from Israel says, if only you could go to Israel, there is a prophet there. The second one is when he was about to walk away and leave his package here. And then somebody from Dominion said, don't go, woman of God, stay here. Don't go stay here some people become so big in their shoes they think they can pick and choose what they want when it comes to the things of spirit where God has put you whether you like it that's where you will be you run away you run away and leave your what your package for the second time great man of God military commander Papa don't go the guy did not say anything big. He says, go and wash. Just go and wash. Can I surprise somebody here today? If God woke me up overnight and gave me this message, five people come forward here and I will anoint you. Listen to me. The God that called me out of Dominion House. The God that called me out of the many young men in the Central Church. The God that picked me from the many. May that same God pick you from the many. As I anoint you today, it's an anointing of exception. May the Lord exempt you from the many. May the name that is on the package May the Lord bring you the content. Aima, where is Aima? I know, I did this one, you have to, they will, you know. Oh, no. oh, I was bringing Sewao. I was bringing my daughter. Giver, yes. Life changer. Father. Jehovah, for the many years that Ezekiel has served you, oh Lord. Have a <laughs> <keeping God. laughs> uh, the same grace that is upon my life. Oh God. How long? Jehovah, May today be the 
the beginning of his elevation with humility with humility he has served oh god oh god oh god oh god they have served you they have served you they have served you they have served you god they have served you they have served you they have served you when i know you begin to pray father today i exempt this one I send this one the grace of assumption. Go and pray. Father, change this one, so Lord, countenance. May your glory overshadow this one. May your glory overshadow this one. I remove him from disappointment. I remove him from stagnation. My son. I grant you scholarship. God bless you. I remove you from the end of the line to the front of the line. My son, from today you are blessed. Oh, woman of God, because of your many years of service, may the Lord honor you. It is done. My son, because of your obedience, may your ministry flow all over the place. to understand that you don't look like what you carry this man of God standing before you does it look like a mega mega church millionaire that be giving cars away but what the world has despised is what the Lord takes and uses it to glorify himself from today Father, you started with me in Dominion House and you brought me back today for this special grace. May your people encounter your power. Whatever content that belongs to them that have other people's name on it, I remove it and I bring it back to them. I snatch it and I give it back to them. I take over it and I give it back to them. I stand in the authority of Jehovah. You carry me. You feel me up. When something you go. You fight for me. of your many years of service in this house and your faithfulness may the Lord prolong your days may your days be long with prosperity and good health nobody can change this from your life my daughter may the Lord honor you may the Lord honor you listen to me money will stay in this hands from today money will stay in this hands I just saw it. Listen, I've seen a lot of children lined up eating from your hands. What you carry is more than uh, 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 what do you call it? The place that the orphans live. What is that called? Orphanage. Many children are lined up 
I saw it when I go, went behind you. Eating and calling you mommy, mommy, mommy. Eating from the hands. The Lord said, anoint the hands. Money will stay in your hands. It is your heart desire to help a lot of people. You. Oh, I saw it. Oh, the man of God, the spirit of God is alive. You see, abundance of rain in your hands. Money to undertake the desires of God. You are the one that will carry some of them to colleges and do, send clothes and do this. It's coming. Huh. You are blessed. Can I surprise you? You are one of the people that will sponsor men of God. If you have the money, you. I don't know you. I, I think I've seen you before. I don't know. I don't remember. You have always been in Dominion House. He's one of us. So you know me. When I was causing trouble here. Shout hallelujah. Porsche, dear, is the beginning. Oh, your end shall be massive. Oh, Porsche, Porsche, Porsche is, a, is, a, is the beginning. Is the beginning. When I went to the hotel, Eddie, at Abuja, me and my daughter, we went in there. One of the, we called for food. Of course, we were hungry all the way from America. Why, why wouldn't we eat? One of the young men, the way, you know, when you go order food in your hotel room and they bring the food. He walked into that room. He said, sir, please, can I say something? I said, say it. He says, you are a man of God. I said, who told you that? He says, when you entered the hotel, the aurora around you. I said, no doubt. I prayed for him. From today, they will smell the glory of your life from miles away. May the same favor that is upon my life be transferred unto you. Huh? I cancel disappointment. Ezekiel, may the Lord uplift you and put you in your right position. It shall not be long. It shall not be long. Everybody lift up your two hands. Rain, Jesus, rain, rain, Jesus, rain. Oh, he of God are here tonight. the angel 
shadow is wiping tears away so I wipe your tears away I wipe your tears away I wipe your tears away the many years of struggle the many years of disappointment pain I wipe it away soldier I wipe it away I wipe it away the same grace that is upon my life I wipe your tears away the pain the disappointment the insults the stagnation I wipe it away. Oh, oh, oh. Father, according to your word, so shall it be. I wipe it away. Are you Mau? Or you are? Who's which one is Mau? I wipe every tear away. Woman mm -hmm. of God, God bless you so much for your humility. Every eyes closed and every head bow. If you are current with the things that are going on around the world, it will not be long and our Lord will come. Even as you are here with every eyes closed and every head bow. If you know you are not right with the Lord, if you appear right now, you cannot count yourself among the living, but only the dead. If you want to rededicate your life, Reconnect yourself to heaven with the respect of the Holy Ghost. Everybody close your eyes. Every head bow. If you are that person, slip up your right hand, put it right back down. Slip it up, put it right back down. Slip it, put it right back down. I see that hand. I see that hand. I see that hand. I see that hand. Your faithfulness. This is before God and not me. Slip up your hand, put it right back down. Yes, I see the hand. I see the hand. Be faithful before your living God. Thank you, Lord. Because of your faithfulness. Father, oh Lord, I stand in the garb for this one. Now from today, she is counted among your people. And as you appear, oh Lord, in your glory, she will find favor before you. Everybody say, oh Lord. I come before you. And I surrender all to you. I rededicate. And I reconnect. Father. May your blood. Cleanse me anew. Oh Lord. This day. May my name reappear in the book of life in Jesus mighty name shout hallelujah shout hallelujah shout hallelujah begin to celebrate in the house of the Lord take your seats take your seats take your seats take your seats prophet Muhammad here yeah. shout amen Let me get the offering bowl. The tithe of the Lord. Rededicating your life. Being faithful to God. You can never beat a tither. You do not hear me. You want your seed. You want your money to be part of the foundation. Of this new Jerusalem. God dominion house. Shout hallelujah. Bring the tithe of the Lord. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. The tithe of the Lord. 